Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, I'm going to talk about the scholarships available and before that I will also uh, give the details of the fees applicable through PASET mode of admission. So BTEC fee structure for PASET quota 24-25. This is the latest fee structure which is available branch wise. So starting with the first, the branch is Computer Science Engineering which is one of the most demanding branch, CSC. And from the same department, you have computer science engineering with AIML, CSC AIML. So basically CSC and CSC specialization, the fee structure is same for both CSC and CSC AML, which is 4,80,000 per year, right? And this is for all the students who are applying through PASET quota or J means quota. Fees remain same. For KCT students, fees is lower. It will be around 1.2 to 1.3 lakh rupees per year. But with that, I will cover in a different video, right? And uh, now talking about the next branch, which is about ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering. So fees for ECE is little bit lesser than CSE. So EC is available at 4.2 lakh rupees per year. And this is again fees for both the modes, which is PASET as well as the J means admission quota. Now the third category of branches, which is the core branches, which they call like Mechanical Engineering, ME code. Electrical and Electronics Engineering and Biotechnology. So these three branches, it is um, the fees is little bit lesser. So it is like 3.8 lakh rupees per year. And this again is including uh, both the modes, right? PASAT and JE, you can, um, you can come with any of the modes, right? So this is the overall fees for all the six branches which I have covered. Now talking about the students who are coming through diploma or the lateral entry. So you will get direct admission into second year of PS University. So they can also write PESET exam and they can get admission. So branches are also same for diploma students also same six branches and the fee structure is also same. So for example for computer science engineering the fees is 4.8 lakh rupees per year and the admission process is PESET. So they, here they will not accept J mains right because you are getting into second year of admission now the other branches through diploma entry or that uh, you know lateral entry ec the fees will be 4 lakh 20 thousand rupees per year and the only mode of admission will be through passet quota and the third there are two more branches which is electrical and electronics engineering and mechanical engineering which will accept passet quota uh, passet exam for lateral entry so for lateral entry or the um, you know diploma students the fees will be 3 lakh 80 thousand rupees per year so that is why I have covered four branches which are available through lateral entry. Yes. Now I will come in, come to the third course which is Master of Technology M.Tech, right? Which is postgraduate program. So here M.Tech in Computer Science Engineering is available through PASET or the GATE quota. So any of those two you should have written. And if you are coming from PASET or GATE, the fees will be like 2A lakh 80,000 per year, right? So this is the highest demanding M.Tech course. And for other M.Tech uh, specializations, you have Electronics and Communication and M.Tech in Electrical and Electronics and M.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. So for all the three branches, the uh, per year fees is like 2 lakh rupees per year with the uh, PASET quota or through GATE quota. So same fees is uh, ap 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 applicable and you can apply through any of those. Now talking about the important part that a lot of students are looking for some you know, scholarships and if PSU provides scholarship and who are the students eligible for those scholarships. So this is the overall you know, overview of the scholarship which are available. So uh, the one in yellow are the scholarship basically in the form of fees refund, right? And then there are some in the like a corporate uh, scholarships, which I'm going to talk and some are like, you know, distinction awards and merit based. So let me start with first one. So the most important one is the professor MRD scholarship, which they provide, right, which includes merit certificate and 50% of the tuition fee refund, right? So this is the most important or the best one. And Top 5% students based on their CGPA marks from the first semester, they will be getting 50% tuition fee refund. So this is quite good. And if you are studying well, you will be in the top 5% of the students, then you can get 50% tuition fee. That is the best option. Now, if you are like not in top 5%, but you can be next 20%. 
so after this next 20 percent of the students will get 40 percent tuition fee waiver right so they will not get the full tuition fee refund but they will get 40 percent fees refund which is also good right so you should be in the first 25 percent 5 percent in the first slab for 100 percent tuition fee waiver and 20 percent for this 40 percent tuition waiver so these two fees refund you can utilize if you are studying well right now starting with the third one which is called distinction award right so here you get an award certificate if you are maintaining 7.75 and then you can mention it in your part of your cv when you are applying for the jobs etc then they have called the corporate scholarship again this is based on the student's performance and there are good companies which are basically taking care of the uh, you know scholarship for the students right sap or the cognizant and these companies may offer also offer you pre-placement offer if you are a good so you should be targeting this type of corporate sponsorships available to students next type of next type of scholarship available is in terms of teaching assistance right so here also you will be contributing towards the university and you will be getting teaching assistance amount is not mentioned but you will be compensated there Next opportunity is also in the professor as a research work under professor. So you can get an assistantship. Again, this will be you know paid scholarship to students who are performing well. And also, if you are coming from rural background and you got C through KCET, then those type of students can also opt for the rural scholarship, which is available, right? And select number of students will be taken for the rural scholarships also. So that's a short update on different type of fees and the scholarships applicable for PS university students. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to get similar updates on all the colleges in Karnataka. Take care and bye.